What up, it's your boy Nick from MMA Pixels here with Dustin Toby. How are you doing, Dustin? Hey, I'm pretty good, sir. How are you today? I'm doing great. Dustin has a match coming November 4th against Christian Avalos at 559 Fight 60. Can you talk me through how, how that fight came about? Um, you know, I the way I understand it, I believe uh, Christian, um, I think he goes by Chris too, I believe Chris, he had another opponent lined up, and uh, for whatever reason, his opponent had to drop, so he, he couldn't fight him anymore. So, you know, I got the text from, uh, you know, from Jeremy. He's like, "Hey, I got, I have a good fight for you. Um, do you want it?" And I was like, "Absolutely, I want it." You know, talked it over with my coach, uh, Dan Manriquez. Uh, he told me that's that's definitely a good matchup. We want it, and uh, we started training for it. And uh, yeah, that's how it came about. So it's a good matchup. How long ago was that? Like, how much notice did you have before this fight? I want to say, I think that was just, uh, just a month ago. A month. On average, how how long do you usually know your opponent before? Normally, I do have a, a bit more of a heads up. So, um, three months. Oh, okay. That's They're about two, three. Um, have you saw a lot of film on uh, Avalos? Oh, I've seen all of it. I've, I've studied his style. Um, I picked apart his... Uh, his weaknesses and his strengths. Um, I've, got, I've got a game plan, but I'd like to keep that to myself. <laughs> okay, so you definitely, you, you think uh, you have the, the key to victory? You've seen something? You know, I I like to think so. Okay, I noticed that um, you, you've had a, a layoff of almost two years. Uh, can you tell us why? I, um, I recently, you know, Oh yeah, so I got uh, I got hired with uh, with law enforcement here in uh, in Fresno. Um, it's it's a stressful job. So basically, after the after the academy, um, I got hired on um, with the sheriff's office. And then I got hired on with the Fresno PD. So um, I've been trying to you know focus on my career and get that down because I'm I'm young. I'm I'm 22, um, and I want to make sure I stay in uh, you know stay in law enforcement for a while. So. I was basically focus, focusing on my career, uh, but I always told myself I'd be back, and uh, here I am. Well, congratulations on the uh, uh, graduation and the job, um, and thank you for your service. I know a lot of times you guys get a bad rap, but I, I appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. So, um, you, you are very young. I think, when did you take your first fight at, 19? I was 19. Uh, my first fight was against... Um, then Tovar, uh, Giuliano Tovar. And then with the layoff, um, being being so young, I, I think you're. Are you? Well, do you feel you're going to be a different fighter coming into this? I'm definitely going to be a different fighter coming into this. Absolutely. Do you think uh, more so physically or mentally? It's going to be mentally uh, more mature, um, and by that I mean, um, you know. I guess I, I guess you could say more experienced. It is. Um, it will be my seventh fight. Um, you know. Yeah, it's it's gonna be, and physically, you know, physically, mentally, um, everything. It's gonna be. It's gonna be. You know, better. And this is at a welterweight. They have you listed lightweight, welterweight. Which one do you prefer? You know. Now, I uh, definitely welterweight. Cause I walk around at uh, around 180. Um, it's a good cut, and I still feel strong. Um, you know, I used to, uh, you know, I used to fight a lot of 155. Uh, but again, I feel I feel like when I do that, a lot of my strength is, is gone. I feel, you know, I feel like my I feel my strength diminish because I, you know, I, I feel like it, it's it's too big of a weight cut, especially in amateurs. You know, I, I don't agree with huge weight cuts. Um, and at 170, I'm I'm two and one, uh, so that's not bad. Do you feel like if you ever do turn pro with uh, the weigh-ins the day before, you would you drop down to 155, or do you feel the same way 170? I would, I would definitely drop down to 155. Okay. Absolutely, pro pro is a different story. Uh, you know, it's a different set of animals, and um, yeah, no, I'd definitely drop to 55, maybe 45. Do you um 
do you see that you making that transition anytime soon? I, I know you said you're very focused on your, your other career. You know, um, and that's what me and my coach were talking about. Um, I guess it all depends on how this fight goes. Um, and I'm not, I'm not saying whether or not I win or I lose. Um, you know, you, you can lose and still have a good fight. It's not about that. So, again, I just want to see how this fight goes, how I look, how I feel, and that will ultimately determine uh, whether or not I turn pro in the near future. Is this camp all about Avalos? Are you, everything you're doing is, is for this fight? Um, it's, it's for this fight, but it's for, you know, future fights as well. Um, I'm, I've learned a lot, you know, in this training camp, uh, training training a little differently, uh, doing, doing things differently. Uh, so it's not just about Avalos, you know, it's, it's going to ultimately help in the future for everything, every fight. Um, how often are you able to train? I'm training right now. Five days a week, six days. Because um, it's good to take you know take days off every now and then. You don't want to go hard every day. Right. So if there if there's days where I'm not you know training jujitsu or you know training training stand up, you know I'm at the gym, um, training my own way. Um, so there's never you know there's rarely days when I'm not doing anything, doing something, you know. And what gym do you train at? Right now I'm with uh, Manrique's fight team. Um, so he uh, he has training um, at his house as well as uh, IOT, which is um, where he teaches at the Institute of Technology. He has a uh, a room out there. They they let him use a mat room, and he has you know he has a setup out there. Um, jiu Jitsu is at Halo Jiu Jitsu uh, with Angel Lopez, um, one of the best best coaches out there for Jiu Jitsu. Um, and yeah, I just. You know, go where they tell me. Do you do you enjoy that going to like two separate gyms, one for what it sounds like jujitsu, one for stand up? You know, I um, I do. Um, you know, I, I'm very loyal. So as long as my you know my coaches are good with each other, you know Dan and Angel, so they don't they don't have a problem with it, and I don't mind it at all. But for the most part, it's um, it's it's just Dan. Um, you know, occasionally he'll be like, "Hey, go to Halo, do some jujitsu," and I'm like, "Okay." But um, they say I just go with Dan. Oh. You know, Dan needs me. Will they both be corning you, or or just Dan? Corning me for this fight is going to be Dan and uh, James Ward. He's a he's one of the coaching staff for the Manrique's fight team. He's a boxing coach. Uh, he's old school. Uh, he's a beast. So he's going to be cornering me as well. I I train boxing at his house. Right on. This is a, a co-main event. Is this for a title? This is for a title. Yes, sir. For the uh, 559 fight welterweight? Yes, sir. Is this the first time you fought for a title? It is. So is this the, the biggest fight you've had yet? Oh, yeah. Does that play anything, like any nerves or uh, excitement, anything like that build on you? Yeah, you know, nerves and excitement, both. Um... You know, very excited to get in there. Always excited to get in there. Um, Chris Avalos, he's going to be a good opponent. I know that. Um, again, it's a belt fight. Um, and I have, you know, about a two-year layoff. So, you know, that, that comes into effect as well. Or comes into play. So, um, you get to show what I've learned. Um, hoping Ring Rust, you know, does not play, play a part in this. Um, that's the goal. Um, yeah. I know you said you're not quite sure on tur turning pro after this fight, but do you see yourself getting in, uh, scheduling another fight after this one fairly quickly or a another layoff? Uh, it'll be it'll be quickly because, you know, I want to show I'm able to defend the belt. You know, I don't want to get the belt and then, like, well, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> I know, um, just going back to your other career, it's, you know, you spend a lot of time and a lot of hours there, but is there any conflict, like, as to, like, you fighting that they don't, maybe they don't want you to, or in case if you get injured? You know, so far, they've been really cool with it. Um, well, my supervisor, you know, he gave me the next eight days off. Um, he's going to give me time to recover after, and he gave me time to train before. 
and uh, I think that's really cool. I just got to make the days up. Not a big deal. Yeah, that's awesome. That's great that you were able to have the support team around you. Uh, what about friends and family? Are they going to be there? I do have a lot of family coming. Uh, they're very excited. Uh, they get nervous, uh, understandably. Uh, but yeah, I got a lot of family coming. At least the ones that are, you know, that live in town or live around here. They'll be here. That's cool. I'm sure that means a lot to you. It does. It, it really does. Uh, those, like those of you who can't make it there November 4th, it will be uh, broadcast live on flowcombat.com. Um, any sponsors, coaches? Uh, well, we talked about your coaches. Any training partners? Anybody you want to shout out before we get off here? Uh, yeah, again, shout out to my coach, Dan Manriquez, um, and Angel Lopez. Um, just throw another one out there to uh, James Ward. They've been really helping me through this camp. Um, Dan, he's, uh, he helps me out with more than just fighting. You know, he's, uh, he's a mentor, and uh, I owe him a lot, so thank you. Uh, two quick questions. Do you have a nickname? Not yet. I'm, uh, you know, I don't want to be the guy to give himself a nickname, so I'm waiting for someone to throw it out there. All right. And uh, today is ha Halloween. Happy Halloween. Uh, going through, I know you're, you're, you're going to do the weight cut here soon. What are you going to do tonight? Tonight is um is this cardio and this light sauna, but it's just just cardio. Okay. All right. And uh, where can the fans connect with you on uh, social media? Um, I do have a Facebook. Um, I have Instagram as well. Um, it's going to be for my Instagram. It's Dustin underscore Toby forty. Um, yeah. Uh, Facebook just my name, Dustin Toby. Um, if you want to connect with me, I'm you know. Balls are on my phone, so it's not hard. Right on. I appreciate your time. November 4th, 559 Fight 60, Visalia, California. Dustin, no nickname, Toby. Thank you for your time. This is Nick from MMA Pixels. Thank you very much, Nick.